tiene sí. Ok. Hello, Mirna. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. You know, very punctual. You know, very punctual. Bien puntual. Yes. Okay, we're gonna wait for more people to join. But in the meantime, uh, Ms. Uh, Lopez, M Mirna, uh, do you have any questions for me or something you would like me to help you with? Algo que quisiera que yo le ayudara o algo, alguna sugerencia o algo? Or we're good. No le escucho, no le escucho. Sorry. Teacher, tuve una, sorry, tuve una dificultad is, um, en la plataforma. No sé si usted nos va a orientar ahí, digamos, eh, estoy por, el, por la mitad del, del, del... Y tuve dificultad en una de la el literal, en la D. Eh, como ahí está A, B, C, D, entonces en la D, en la número 3 parece que tuve una dificultad, no sé, ahí... No Bye. sé si se la consulto mejor en el grupo de WhatsApp después de la clase. Eh, o ahorita. Sí, sí, solamente, bueno, ahorita que tenemos tiempo porque estamos bien poquitos en la llamada. Este, vaya, voy a compartir la pantalla y usted me dice qué ejercicio es, ¿verdad? Así con, con nombre y apellido, por favor. Así como decimos, ¿verdad? Este, así de una sola vez salimos de esto. Cuando llegamos a 10 participantes, okay. arrancamos con todo. Eh, let me just one second. Here it is. Vaya, esta, estamos hablando de qué lección exactamente, si se recuerdan. Eh, en la 3, en la 3, teacher. Ah, en lesson 3. Sí, sí, lesson 3. Y ya estamos aquí. Me too. En, en los Knowledge exámenes. Check. El knowledge check, ¿qué está? Ah, sí, o el midterm. Sí, pero uh, en, en midterm. Midterm, uh, si hacemos una traducción literal de midterm, es el parcial. Ok. Ajá. Y D. Use to. Sí, ahí, use to. Vale. Si hace una traducción literal de used to, no significa nada, ¿verdad? De, de usar, usado Ajá. para. <risa> pero... Significa solía, ¿verdad? O soler. O usual. Ajá, but you know that already. ¿En cuál de todas ah. es? Es, es? es acá, en la número, number three. Number three, all right. And this doesn't have a number. Number this one, what dance, what dance? This one. What this, ajá. Uh -huh. What this dance one. do you use, do you use? To collect. Ah, ah tendrí, hay que escribir toda la, la... Porque yo solo escribía... Do you, use, did you, do you, did you, right? No, collect no. Collect no se pone solo. O okay. sí. No. Hasta ¿Qué ahí? Dice, dice ah. solo que utilicemos el use. Ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, Ajá no, no escribí el collect. Ah, pues sí. So, aquí sí, 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 hay que seguir el ejemplo. Aquí nos dice, did you used to? Uh -huh. O sea, prácticamente sí, lo no que vamos a utilizar si... es esto. 
Hagámoslo. Dice, uh, did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Recuérdese, if you start a sentence, it should be capital. Did you used to? Sí. Y hagamos algo, copiémoslo y peguémoslo. I used, no, this yes, I used to, but you go, yes, I, esta es una oración, entonces tiene que ser used to, solo así, ok, y aquí hay un error, porque tiene que ser sin la D, ok, porque estamos en pregunta, so take a look at that, alright, and then number three, what tense did you used to, and number four, oh, I never, anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcards, I never, uh huh. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. Aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. And then we go submit. <laughs> And let's see this one. Why? Ah, ok, la muestra. Sí, ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, siempre me sale así, no sé por qué. Ajá. Uh -huh. What things did you use or did you collect? ¿Será que, será que tenemos que poner el collect? No sé, teacher. Sí, es que a veces hay que probar con todo. Porque... Ahí está, ¿ves? sí, hay, había que ponerlo. Sí. Había que ponerlo. No, pues sí, eso era. Eso era. Ajá. Es la... Ah, pues. La... Ah, Esa es la tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah, number three. That's the one, correct. Sí. Vaya. Thank you, teacher. Eh, you were welcome. Yeah, this is tricky, you know, if you write a, an extra letter or if you don't include a, a letter over there or a, a punctuation mark, So the system marks it as incorrect. So we gotta be careful. I also make, you know, make mistakes over here. Yeah, so it's okay to make mistakes. The thing is, you know, we're supposed to learn out of our mistakes in there. Nice. Let me stop sharing this screen and I'll go ahead and start with the main business for tonight, everyone. And that's it, this presentation right here. The word of tonight, Wednesday, October 22nd, year 2020. Queremos que se acabe el año, ¿verdad? <laughs> sí. Okay. Yeah, we want this year to be over already. And 10 participants, I'm just going to call your names because, because I think it's important, you know, since we don't see each other face to face, at least I know that you're here. Yvette, hello, Thank Ryder. You. Patty, uh, uh, you know, thank God you're better now. You were sick, but now you're here with us. And now Felipe, uh, and then Ingrid is with us as well. Uh, it is Mr. Joseph Perez. And then Mirna, you know, she was the first one in the class. Raquel, Mr. Rodrigo Eduardo, 10 participants. I think it's only nine participants, but that's okay. And all right, so surprise, surprise, the word of the date or tonight, about time, <laughs> or it's about time, or about time. Can somebody tell me if you have any idea what this expression means? Or if you translate this to Spanish, what is the meaning of this? Anybody? <laughs> Uh, cerca el tiempo, se acerca el tiempo, se acerca el, el, el fin de los tiempos. Okay. Ahí va. Bien traducido. Ajá, ¿verdad? Con este COVID ya no se sabe, este 2020. Okay. Como, como November, surprise me, please. Sorprende, ¿Qué tenemos ¿verdad? que hacer entonces? No, ahorita solo les estoy preguntando si saben what's the meaning, you know, the, of this. Right now, ah. what's the meaning? Ok. All right, any ideas? If you don't know, you know what this expression means, don't worry about it. So, si, si no tiene idea, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you. ¿Qué tal si le doy la explicación del diccionario, verdad? And that's the explanation of the dictionary. So, and this is, this is what it is. It's according to the dictionary, you know, el diccionario de la, de la Real Academia Española, verdad? This is, you know, a dictionary. An expression used to emphasize that something should have occurred a long time ago. Pero quedamos creo que en la, en la nube, ¿verdad? En la luna, peor. <laughs> okay. Now, what if, ¿qué tal? What if, if I give you an example? Okay, so listen to me, please. Well, 
about time you got here. I've been waiting for over an hour. Okay. Todavía estamos dando vía. Revisemos el, el otro ejemplo. Perdonen que ahí lo copié dos veces. All right, so let's try to look at this one. It's about time that the high schools taught their students about basic banking and finance. All right? Y si todavía no es suficiente, you know, if it's not enough, let me give another okay. example over okay, here. Okay, enough. Okay. <laughs> nice. And uh, the, the next, next one over there. Uh, Tom finally moved out of his parents' house. By time, he's 40 years old. So, Mr. Magaña, what would be the translation for this expression then, about time? Es un, es un idiom, una expresión que sirve para referirse a algo que pasó hace mucho tiempo. But what would be an, uh, an equivalent uh, phrase in Spanish for este, this? Uh, por ejemplo, en, es, en español nosotros decimos, bueno, al respecto decimos, este, decimos mucho, muchas expresiones eh, equivalentes. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, de, solemos decir, hasta mentira puede ser. Fue, y eso fue hace mucho tiempo. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. but, but, but actually, actually uh, Mr. Magaña, in, in this case, that's not the real meaning of the word. Okay. All right. So, uh, anybody else? But yeah, you're close. You're, you're, you're close, David. But this is not really what it means, okay? But, uh, for example, yes. el, cuando dice, it's about time that high school taught that is talking about basic banking, banking and financing. Um, mm -hmm. Quiere decir que hace un montón de tiempo que, que enseñó a sus estudiantes acerca de, de, de conocimientos bancarios básicos y finanzas. Okay, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. But you know, in reality, you know, actually, the this expression about time means ya era hora. Mm -hmm. So that's you know that's the meaning of this ya era hora, right? You know, ya era hora. Okay, so that's the actual meaning of this. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if, if you see that the the, uh, the meaning changes a little bit over here. So what's about time? If you are a latecomer, for example, if you never get, you know, to the meetings in time, okay, so, but, for example, now in class, you are, you know, the first one in class, I'm going to say to you, ah, what's about time? Ya era hora, verdad? Okay. You know, something okay. just like that. All right? Ya era hora que viniera. Exactly. I, I was lost a little. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, but that's okay. That's why, you know, it's an idiom, uh, David, because idioms, when you make the translation, yes. they, they don't make sense. They don't make sense. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. And, that, and that's, you know, okay. that's, that, you know, that's my intention, you know, to help you see, you know, how English speaking people in the United States, you know, uh, use these expressions. Okay. Example, example would be fly. Which one? Example, example, other example, mm -hmm. um, when pigs fly. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, when pigs fly, correct, correct, correct. Okay, so today, I mean, actually tonight, we're, you guys are gonna be practicing uh, a conversation, which I'm about to share with you. But first of all, we need to practice this vocabulary in order for you to, uh, you know, get familiar with that conversation. So you're gonna listen to a conversation between a news reporter and an actress. And remember, this vocabulary, you know, try to remember this. My point is the following. Acting, school, and movie star. What kinds of questions do people ask when they meet other people for the first time? So for example, you might ask about their jobs, before they ask their names. And then it, it gives you an example in here. So where do you work? How do you like your job? These are very common questions, you know, when you meet someone for the first time. Now I'm going to choose three volunteers. Sorry about that. 
actually three victims. You know, I like to call them victims. So I'm going to choose uh, Felipe, you know, because you like to watch a lot in here. I'm going to choose a, a, a lady, uh, Iris. And then I'll be choosing another uh, person in here. And it's going to be Rodrigo. Okay. The first one is Felipe. And the next one is... Uh, Let's see who did I say in here. Did I say uh, it is? Yes, right. And then Rodrigo. So Felipe, help us with the first uh, word in here. Start off in basic, please. Tell us if, if it's a verb, if it's an adjective, you know, the meaning and the example sentence, please. Felipe. Uh -oh. Yeah, can you hear us, sir? Yeah, I don't think, yeah, we cannot hear you, uh, Felipe. I think your audio, you know, your microphone is, is a little bit uh, too low, but thanks. You see, Angel Martinez, help us with start off and basic, please. By the way, you can also take notes of this, okay? Yeah, Angel. I cannot hear you, Angel. Okay. So let me ask uh, some someone over here. So Katia, would you like to help us on this one, Katia? Yeah, but what what I have to do? Yeah, you just have to read the first uh, two vocabulary words that are over here. The one that says vocabulary and sample sentence. So start off and then basic, please. Okay. Vocabulary in simple sentence. Start off is a verb that means begin. Ashley started off her acting career in New York City. Basic adjective is it means simple. We lived in a very basic house when I was little. All right. Continue. Okay. No, that's okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so we have two words. Start off means begin, but that's informal. Okay. Basic, it means simple. All right. Pretty much. That's it. And let's see. I think I chose uh, Ingrid. Yeah, I think I have an. Yeah, Ingrid. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So uh, originally, and gotta go, please help us with that one. Okay. Uh, original a verb appears in the beginning. My mother is original, originally from Mexico, but she lived up in the United States. And gotta go, informal expression. Have to go. Okay. I have gotta go to work now. Now, see you later. And the other example, my brothers go to study, study more in more if he wants to pass the class. Thank you so much. So the expressions are originally, and then we, we have gotta go. You can say, I have to go, I need to go, you know, you have to do or you have to go, but informally we say gotta go. And you don't really have to say, I've got to go, or I have got to go. No, you say, I got to go. And that's how you write it down, okay? And the, the last one, okay, Mr. Jose Perez. Yeah, yeah the, the last one, okay, but be careful on that one. You know, honey. <laughs> okay, okay. Honey as it is, okay? Sweetheart, dear, love. Okay. Hi, honey. Will you let me No, thanks. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we have these words. By the way, why are we studying this vocabulary? Because these, you know, these words are going to appear in the conversation that you, that everyone is about to practice. Okay. 
So, and these are the questions, by the way. Let me just mute your microphones very quickly. Okay, now it's, it's I think, much better. Now, this is my point. This conversation is going to be, uh, you know, between a news host, okay, with an actress, okay? And then you see what's the name of the actress, maybe Sarah Reynolds or Rogers or Roberts. You're going to find out. So where is she from? So is she from New York, from Miami, or from Los Angeles, from LA, you know, Los Angeles, from the city of Canton, right? The uh, very next one, Hey, yeah, city of Compton. City of Compton, right. Yes. Next one, where did she work part-time while she was going to school? At a supermarket, movie theater, or a restaurant? How old is, is the actress? 22, 24, or 20? And the last one, what is the woman's hobby? Is it reading, cooking, or shopping? Simply, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and send to you, first of all, to the personal uh, chat, the access to this conversation. But the first thing you have to do is write down or try to remember what the conversation, you know, it's mainly about. You know that it's, it's between an actress, you know, and a news reporter, but what do they talk about? Okay, what do they talk about? This is the thing. So listen to the conversation one time and the uh, write the main idea, okay? Are we clear? Yes. Okay, uh, let me just one second. You know, I'm getting the, uh, the access uh, material for you over there. So just one second me here. And there you go. So, Yvette, could you please tell me if you're able to uh, access to the conversation? Or maybe anybody else in there? So I just share with you in the uh, Zoom group chat, the conversation, you know, access uh, material and also in, in the personal chat. Uh, Mirna, uh, do you, I mean, are you able to access, by the way? Yes, teacher. Okay, right now, you know, play this one time and get the main idea down. Then I'm going to ask you, share it with me. Okay, so listen to it, please. You have two minutes, okay, and something. Go ahead, please. Now, look at my screen just to keep track of the time, please. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so let me stop you right there. So like stop, hands up, you know, hands up. <laughs> yeah, put your hands up. And um, I'm gonna ask you, Miss Noria Eguizabal. Okay. Yes, could you please? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So what's the conversation about, by the way? Don't give me, you know, too many details, but what is it about, please? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but don't don't give me the details over there. Okay, so <laughs> She talks about uh, about herself, right? Okay, where she grew up and everything, right? So she says where she grew up, right? Yeah, she says where she grew up, you know, the place she grew up, like in Miami or Los Angeles, right? Okay. Yes, okay. But, you know, that's okay. You know, I'm gonna ask somebody else in here because no me den detalles ahorita, please, because si no, vamos a compartir, vamos a dar copia de la, del examen, vea. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. David, David Nagaña, sir. So, what's the conversation about? Without giving details, uh, Mr. Magaña, would you please tell me uh, any anything about this, this actress? Yeah, David, your mic microphone is muted. Okay, 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 excuse me. Um, in, in that conversation, I understood um, because uh, um, the character is, is sort of Robert and, 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 and she's, from Miami. Okay. All right. So I see that, that you guys she, understood. She from uh, Miami. Mm -hmm. and, has, uh, um, uh, mm -hmm. and in that conversation, uh, 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 I, I, I know about uh, Ash or, or, or Sarah Robert. Okay, she uh, mentions your age, your yes. Hobby, uh, okay. Your hobby, uh, um, where she worked, um, how, how time she worked, about that. Yeah, she tells, she tells about her and then she also mentions that she worked at a place and then she was good at making something, right? You know, something, you know, like pop, you know, popcorn, right? Okay, now listen to the conversation. Listen to this, please. Eh, no sé, alcanzan a ver la pantalla que les estoy compartiendo de, del yes. examen, del quiz? Okay. So in that case, gentlemen yeah. and, and, and ladies and gentlemen, please play the conversation and then take the quiz. Once you finish the quiz, you know, go here below, and I think it's going to ask you, I don't know, somewhere, but it's going to tell you the, the score, okay? I think if I start this, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the, the score, and then please share a, a screenshot of your score in the chat, in the personal chat, okay? So take the quiz, take a screenshot of the result. Maybe you're gonna get four out of five or five out of five, okay? So I'm gonna give you three minutes, starting now. Uh, is that is that clear, uh, Yvette? Are we good? No. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. score, okay. Yeah, correct. And the send. Yes, and the WhatsApp in the chat. 
Okay. Yes. And the group or? Group. Um, group. Okay. Yes, in the group chat, yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Now, uh, let's go ahead, please. Let's try to listen to this, please. <laughs> <clears throat> I sang my score, teacher. All right, so let me check it right now. Let me just stop sharing this and uh yeah, I can see you got four out of five. Nice. That's that's good job. And the uh, next one is um, it says over here, Felipe, you got five out of five. That's good job. And then the next one is Palacios. I mean, no me salió como a ellos en un cuadrito. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's okay. Está bien así. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, thank you. I just I just want to see, you know, your score over there. And not para fiscalizarlo ni nada, verdad? It's just to see that you're actually, you know, doing great. You see, this 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 is what I call improvement, you know, mejora, you know, an advance over here. Uh so private acting school, you got five out of five. Very, very good job in here. Nice. I think you're ready to move to the next step over here, which is to practice the conversation in purse. All right? Since you're familiar with this uh, material that I shared with you, let me just go ahead and send to everyone in this group chat the script of the conversation. Okay? Okay. Now, but before I do, uh, I mean, I sent it already. Get familiar with this. I'm going to give you one minute. Let me just get this stop. I mean, the clock over here. And let me just share the screen in here. I'm gonna give you one minute and I'm gonna tell you what, you know, when to start. For you to get familiar, you know, with new words, uh, vocabulary, the pronunciation of the words and everything. And then I'm going to split you up into the breakout room so you can practice that conversation, you know, with someone. So are we good? Hold on, let me, let me share, I mean, share the, the clock with you. Hold on. And here we go. So one minute starts now. Go ahead, please. Meet your microphone. Today we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new... All right, so 20 seconds. Okay, so time is up. Nice, uh, let me go ahead and share the screen with everyone right now. And then uh, you tell me if you're able to see the screen and share it with you over here. So just one second. 
Okay, let me just cover, you know, any brands and something right here. So this is the conversation. Okay, now you see that the vocabulary, it's uh, highlighted, it's in bold, o sea, está en negrita, and then you can practice this. Remember, you say basic, start off, originally, and then one more, one more thing. If you see the, uh, that a word is in capital letters, try to, you know, emphasize the pronunciation. Like, for example, I'm going to go here. Sara, I attended Fernando's School of Acting, and all of my teachers love my acting. Okay? So you try to emphasize the pronunciation more that. So I'm going to split you in purse and try to practice the conversation. Do you have any questions for me, by the way? Do you have any questions for me? Or are we good? Yvette, Noria, uh, David, anybody here? Uh, Raquel, do you have any questions for me? Anything re re uh, related to pronunciation that you would like to help me with? I mean, help you with? I have a problem. Yeah, what's the problem I you have? Ne I never change the page. <laughs> okay. But you, you found this, you found this uh, uh, conversation already, Yvette. No change the page. I, I don't look in for the conversation okay but don't worry you're gonna have the, the you know the uh, opportunity to practice so but do you have already the conversation now in your screen in your computer yes Yvette why do you have the conversation already in your in your screen in su pantalla ya la tiene la conversación Yes, do you have it? O sea, okay. no de mi pantalla, sino que en su, ya lo, ya lo tiene usted, ya. En, no, no, nunca me cargó. Nunca le cargó. No. Eh, si tiene el teléfono, igual en el teléfono lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Si está desde el WhatsApp. O sea, no hay problema. Okay. So try, try to do that, please. Yes. Okay. But, so, what about the rest? Are we okay? Let me make the, the uh, breaker rooms already, okay? So, just one sec, come over here. And there we go. Okay, so Ingrid is with David, uh, Angel is with Mirna, Felipe with Rodrigo, it is with Yvette, and uh, Patricia with Raquel, and Jose with Noria. Uh, refresh the screen. Uh, puede refrescar la screen, uh, uh, la pantalla, si no le carga Yvette. So join the breaker rooms, please, everyone. I mean, go to practice, please. Let's get to practice. Esta clase de eso se trata, ¿no? you know, this is what this class is about. Practice, you know, speak, speak, speak. Nice. All right. And there you go. Join, please. Okay. Did it, uh, did it load already, the page, Yvette? Yes, I have. Okay, it's working now. Thank you. All right, so Jose, uh, join the, the breaker room, please. Uh, Nodi is waiting for you. Nice. Now let's see, I Yvette, uh, you know, try to join the uh, breaker room, please. Uh, you know, it is, 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 is waiting for you. Please. And uh, there you go. And then let's see who's alone in here. And then Ingrid, uh, could you please join uh, the uh, break room so you can practice with uh, with David, please. There you go, thank you. And let's see, Mirna nice is alone. Join. Hello, hello. 
me tocó un monólogo, teacher, porque estoy sola. Sí, lo que pasa es que solo habemos 11 estudiantes, entonces. Ok, aquí estoy practicando. Yo no, hombre, yo no se preocupe, yo practico con usted. Ok, entonces. Vaya, usted va a ser una actriz. I'm going to be the news reporter. Ok. Ok. And here we go. One, two, three. Well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Ajá. Pero permítame, creo que alguien que no ha sido asignado. Aquí está, Katia se acaba de venir. Le voy a mandar a un estudiante. <ríe> Le voy a mandar compañía. <ríe> Thank you. Welcome. Let's see Mirna break a room too. There we go. Oh, let's see, move to break a room two. Ojalá que se se de ay, aquí está. Katia. Hello, Katia. No, hi. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, we're practicing a conversation, the same conversation, but we're practicing right now, okay? Oh, I got it. Yeah, did you, did you get it? Yes. All right, so go ahead, please. One is going to be the news reporter, and the other one would be the, the actress. And try to emphasize, you know. I am, I am actress. <laughs> so she's the actress. <laughs> I am actress. Nice. You with a few ba basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Yeah. First. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh, Hi, okay. Can do you continue, please? Hola. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, you and well, I am or original from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. I lived here until... Whatever. Well, let's start off interview by a few basic questions. Fear of uh, where are you from? Well, I am I'm originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was eight years old. I lived there until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actor. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting. And all of my teachers love my acting. And did you have a part-time job while you were in this high school? Hey. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's start off. Ah, oh, ¿qué pasó? Ah, <laughs> eh, well, let's start off the answer with a few back questions. First of all, where are you from? Well, I originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. I lived there until I was uh, 13 and then I moved it to Los Angeles to be an address. address. Okay, okay. And where did you go to college? I attended Fernando School uh, of Acting. And all of my teacher love my acting. Um, did you have a part-time job while while you were in school? Yeah, I work at movie theater, and everyone, ya no está caro. 
everyone love the way I made the popcorn. Really? Okay, and how old are you now? Well, I am only 20, but every young I know says I look at least 22. All right, okay, and what are your hobbies outside of acting? Of acting? Oh, I love shopping. Oh, I love shopping for stuff. Okay, and all right so how was the practice uh, uh the the practice mirna and katya how was it like was it interesting you know yeah it was <laughs> was it fun it was good <laughs> was it fun yeah, yeah whatever right you know yeah yeah <laughs> you know uh what's the name of the actress i i forgot what's the name it's sarah roberts okay sarah is very dramatic right <laughs> yes it was she really was she's unique you know unique unique over there <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, I need a volunteer, let's see, a uh, gentleman and also a lady who can help me practice the conversation. Who says yes? Please. Who would like? So I need, I need a, a gentleman to practice this. All right. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Okay. So it is, right? <laughs> Okay, so it is, you're going to be Sarah Roberts. So I need a gentleman to play the news reporter. Hi, teacher. So you can, you're gonna be the news reporter over here, okay? Thank you, sir. Let me share the screen with everybody here. Okay. And here we go. We're, we're just gonna practice this only one time because I wanna move forward to another exercise right here. All right, so Felipe, go ahead, please. Hello, this is James Goldfellow from Channel 4 News. Today we are interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie, Zombie from Mars Part 4. Sarah, oh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you are called Jimmy. With uh, James? <laughs> However, <laughs> well, let's start let's start off the interview with a question. First of all, where are you from? Well, I originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. I lived uh, there until what until what I was. Uh, 17 and then I moved to the end to the angel to be an actor. Okay, and um, where did you, you go to college? I attended Fernando School in, of Acting and all of my teacher loved my acting. And did you have a person in your, your while you were in yeah, I work in at a movie theater and everyone love I way made the popcorn. Really? Okay. And um, how old are you now? Uh, well, I am only 20, but everyone I know say I look less 20. 20. Less 22. Oh, all right. 20, okay. 22, perdón. Um, <laughs> that's okay. All right, okay. And um, what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping clothes mm -hmm. and make up. Um, do you say I love shopping for clothes? <laughs> well, Judy is a clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well. Do you want to make some picture of me? 
you know, for my homepage on um, blog, um, you can even use them the fan, fan page, Facebook. <laughs> I think uh, we'll be okay, I think, right? I think we'll be okay. All right. Thank you so much. That's you know, this is this is a very fun conversation to practice with. You know, because Sara is very dramatic. You know, you gotta be dramatic. Okay, and that's okay. Next thing I have on agenda tonight is the following. I'm going to send you to groups of three. You're going to practice this board game. It's similar to the ones you practiced yesterday, okay? And I'll be sending this image, you know, let me send this image to the chat right now so you can practice and this is gonna be the last activity for tonight, okay? So I'm sending this as we speak right now. And I sent it to the uh, personal chat, I mean to the other chat that you, you guys have, you know, in WhatsApp. And then I'll be sending this also, if possible, to the meeting chat right now. Let's see if I'm, I'm able to uh, send this to you. It says my computer. And uh, let's see if I can find this. Okay. It's not over here. So let me just one second come in here. Um, here it is. And it's, uh, let's see, board games, this one. And there you go. Nice. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes? Did you get yes. it? Yes. Yes. Nice. Remember that since this uh, activity has numbers, you can choose the number of the questions in there. So you can choose, uh, let's see, uh, okay, I'm gonna go number six. Who did you see yesterday? Well, I can go 17, for example, or I think this is, yeah, 17. What did you do last night, for example? Or I can go even 26. You know, who did you kiss yesterday? Okay. Nice. Let me split you up again into the breaker rooms. And, you know, this is going to be, as I said, the last thing you're gonna be practicing tonight. Join the uh, breaker rooms, please. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> All right, so Jose, uh, join the breaker room, please. Right now, we're going to practice uh, this uh, game with your classmate, okay? Hello, teacher. Hello, I think you're forever alum over here. Uh, Jose is supposed to be here with you, okay? But, you know, no problem. Disfrutó la conversación, ¿verdad? All right, so... I, I, Estoy como el perro y se me entiende, pero no hablo. <laughs> yeah, I, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so Jose. Jose, can you hear me, sir? All right, so I think uh, he, he's having issues with, with his computer. So you start, but you can ask me a question, Mirna. I'm going to... Uh, oh. So yeah. you you have already uh, this uh, in your in your cell phone, so you can look at your cell phone if you like. Because oh, ya la tengo aquí para compartir. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I mean, just one second, you know. Oops. No sé qué apreté aquí, pero me hizo bien grande. Ahí está. Okay. So go ahead, please. You start. Uh... Where did you go for your last vacation? I don't really remember, but I think I went to uh, El Sonte Beach with my family. All right. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, it was a great. It was a great experience, by the way. <laughs> so I recommend oh. that <laughs> that place. 
Okay. All right, so uh, um, number seven, what did you eat for lunch yesterday, by the way? Yesterday. I don't remember. <laughs> what about today? What did you eat for lunch today? Uh, today, but, uh, beef and vegetable. One more time, please. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, get it. Beef, uh, I, I eat ah. in... Mm -hmm. and, beef, and beef, you said. I eat uh, lunch and beef, vegetable and rice. Okay, so you ate, uh, you can say I ate or I had, you know, I had uh, ah. beef with rice and vegetables. Ate. I ate, you okay. know. Yes, thank you. Let me ask, let me ask uh, Rob, uh, Jose, he's over here. So Jose, are you here, sir? Jose, hello. No, I don't think he's. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. All right. Number number five. <laughs> what do you do, What do you do last summer? Basically, right, so. just escape. Basically, the movie. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, choose a number, Felipe. Like, for example, say a number so Raquel can be ready. Like, uh, for example, you can say uh, number 21. And then you ask the question so Raquel can look at the question and then be ready to answer. So what number, Felipe? Okay. Number? Number uh, 23. 23, okay, ask the question, please. Where did you spend? Where did, where did you spend New Year and last year? Yeah, <laughs> where? If you remember, right? If you were in good <laughs> conditions, you know. <laughs> I don't remember, really, really. <laughs> With resaca. <laughs> the hangover, right? <laughs> ah, hangover. The hangover, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, we were very happy celebrating the. December 31st, which is New New Year's Eve, and then 2020, you know. Uh -huh. okay. Rapidamente. Yeah. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Felipe, okay. Uh, number. Ah, okay. I mean, keep on practicing. You, you still have time to practice. Keep on practicing. Wow. Yeah, one more minute. We have one more minute. One more minute. Okay. You know, Felipe, Raquel abandoned you, you know? Very rude. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, no problem, but you're like, whatever, you know, like, just like Sarah, right? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I, nice. I will practice. Yeah, you, you gotta practice. So my suggestion, everyone, practice the conversation, you know, repeat repeat and repeat the conversation practice the games that we played in here record the audio and you know do practice at least if you if if you don't have time let's try to practice outside of school outside of this uh, class let's say like 30 minutes of speaking you know speaking the conversations and, and playing the games over there o sea, no importa verdad que no juzguen y no digan que estamos locos verdad pero you practice you record yourself and do everything over there so, and okay. it, please. so tomorrow is Thursday is the last class we have of the week I hope you enjoy yes. I hope you enjoy tonight's class hope to see you tomorrow and have a great night all right class is over okay thank you good night goodbye goodbye goodbye